so here we go, we're gonna try it. So, uh, yeah, this is a song that I wrote for my ex-girlfriend. I hope you guys enjoy it. sneeze part like backed out at the last minute so I was behind her and I kind of made a noise that was sort of like a uh, like that like, it would have been better I think if I just sneezed because that's not a sound that you want to hear the guy making behind you when you're at the bank and so like nothing happened with her or whatever but uh, I wanted to do a song about uh, I was in Vegas not too long ago I don't know if you guys have been there in a while Vegas but uh, like I'm from here, so I used to drive there all the time. And they have a whole slogan that says, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And then I went to the Palms Casino, and they have their own slogan when you go in over the registration. It just says, what happens at the Palms never happen. So I guess they're trying to outdo each other. And then I went to my favorite casino, which is the Golden Nugget. And it's kind of in the, like, yeah, it's like in the red light district, and they've got cheap blackjack and hookers and all that. And, uh, <laughs> But they've got their own slogan. They're trying to outdo the other ones completely because it just says, what happens at the Golden Nugget happens in the ass. <laughs> I don't know if they're referring to like gambling or whatever, but I thought it was funny. Um, but I was right. playing a gig there, and right next to it, they had an arcade where they had like video games, and they had that ski ball. Have you ever done ski ball where you have a little bowling ball and you throw it? And so I'm doing that to kill time, and the guy next to me just like sucks. Like he sucks. And I'm like, dude, you suck. And uh, he's like, I'm only five. And I was like, I don't care how old you are. I'm just saying that you suck. But he started to cry. And then I remember thinking to myself, wow, you know, not only does he suck, but he's like a pussy apparently too. So I just thought that was kind of weird. And so I went back to my hotel room that night and I wrote this song. And it's a, it's a they had one of those uh, televangelist preacher guys that they have late at night. 
Um, and um, he was talking about how the end of the world is coming. So this is a song about the end of the world. I'm going to leave you guys with this and hope you enjoy it. Some of songs I might fuck up. Well, I was flipping. See, I fucked it up. Well, I was flipping through the channels on my TV set last night, and then I came across some TV preacher guy, and he was talking about some prophecies, and I think I heard him say that tomorrow was the end of the world. So then I went into my kitchen and I reached for the top shelf. And I grabbed the finest whiskey I could find Cause there's no need to save the finer things for later anymore Since tomorrow is the end of the world And then I got into my car and I drove to a street corner And I asked some guy where I could score some blow And then I went up to the prettiest hooker I could find And asked if I could do a line of coke off her vagina to my surprise, she said she didn't have a vagina. And much to my surprise, I didn't care. Cause there's no need for me to not be getting tranny hookers anymore. Since tomorrow is the end of the world. To have a smoke, shoot some smack, kick a little kid in the face. Steal some old lady's groceries. Cause there's no need to not be an old lady grocery. Steal a little kid in the face, kicking, smack, shooting, smoking up. Whatever the fuck else I say <laughs> anymore Since tomorrow is the end of the world But when I woke up this morning I took a look around And of course I saw that everything was fine But I'm still gonna call and thank that televangelist preacher guy Because I had myself a fucking good time <laughs>